Alright, it's Sneaker Dad back here with another DIY. I'm going to be putting up the towel ring now. And my son's in the hallway. He actually started crawling today, so he might make a little appearance if he feels like coming in the bathroom. So anyway, um, let me show you which one I got. I got the Mullen Preston. And again, like I said, I will provide the link at the bottom of the video for um, its location on YouTube. I got the whole matching set, the towel ring, <laughs> the towel ring, I'll be talking when you close the door, the towel ring and the uh, toilet paper holder. So anyway, this is how everything is going to look when you open the box. All of the hardware is going to be tucked into the back. And actually the ring comes upside down because this is going to be the bottom, not the top. So it kind of comes in a packaging like this. So you're going to want to do that. So keep that in mind. I want you to put it on upside down. So, you know, hopefully it's not dark. But my angle, everything looks dark. But anyway, so uh, go, let's go ahead and take everything out. You're going to need to have a flathead screwdriver to do that. And this is pretty much the same exact installation as the toilet paper um, holder. Except, of course, it's going into the wall, but it's still the same straightforward install. Um, Alright, so in this packaging we have the bracket, along with two screws and two wall anchors. And I will probably use both of those, but first, let's get an idea of where we want to mount it. And to do that, we're going to need a stud finder. Now your stud finder doesn't have to be that fancy, but I prefer this because it locates metal pipes. It also locates um, electrical wires. So that's really good because you don't want to hit one of those when you're installing anything. So I'll also leave a link for this. You know, I probably could have got this off Amazon really cheap, but when I bought this, I needed it like immediately. So, um, we're just going to do a regular stud scan here. And I'm, I think I'm going to mount it somewhere around here. So what you do first is place the stud finder on the wall and then press the button on the side. And it will tell you, see it's telling me that there's a stud over here to the left. And there it is. So I don't want to mount it there anyway. I want to mount it like right here. I don't know if you saw that, that it also said that there were some wires right here too, so I don't want to fool with that either. I want to mount this thing like right here somewhere. There are no wires. And sometimes when it comes to the whole wire thing, if you rub it around the wall too much, it'll create some static electricity and it'll think it's wires there. So that's good. So I'm going to mount my ring somewhere about, no, let me actually, let me bring that a little further down. See, it's saying that there are wires right there. Okay, not right here. So I'll probably do right here because it says that there are no wires. So right here, I will drill. Okay. Now, I know my wife was saying that I'm really anal and she's surprised I'm not making this centered within this little box that I have on the wall. If you guys can see that, it's two-tone. Um, this is a fold kind of rectangle here. But, um, keep me some things in mind. People are going to be washing their hands and reaching up and drying and I don't want them to have to reach too high and get the wall really wet. Um, and I also don't want them to have to reach too far over to the left and have water possibly fall on the floor. I want the sink to catch that. So I'm going to mount it a little closer to the mirror about right here. Alright, now Always remember to pull the drain stopper up in your sink because if you drop a screw, you don't want to have to fish it out of the sink. So I've opened the package and now I have the bracket out and the flat part here. You see there's a flat part there and like a concave part there. The flat part goes up against the wall. So what we're going to do first is 
grab our level. Your level doesn't have to be this big. Actually, a smaller one would be preferable. And your pencil. So it's going to mount it somewhere around here. That looks good. I'm just going to put it up. Right, as a matter of fact, let me zoom in so you guys can even see that. I don't know if you can even see that part, actually. Okay, let me reposition the camera. Okay, so we're back. So you can see it now. I'm going to mount it about right here. And you can see that's pretty crooked. I'm going to take my level. That is perfect. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my pencil. And I'm going to fill in the little rectangle. Well, the oval circles. As you guys can see, this bracket has a circle in the center and two ovals. And the ovals are just um, they're there to give you some room for error, which is really good, so you don't have to be so precise. And now, let me also double check and make sure that this is exactly where I want my tile ring to go. And never, um, when you're coloring your outline, never draw heavy. Always do it lightly so you can erase it, especially if it's over good paint, you can always erase that. And that looks... That looks pretty good. Maybe a little more to the left. Let me see. No, that's good. I don't want any water getting on the floor. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to take my drill. We know that there are no studs there. So I'm going to take my drill and find the proper drill bit. Now, in the instructions, it doesn't... It, usually say in good instructions what size drill bit to use but this one doesn't say so I'm going to show you how to figure that out what you're going to do is take your wall anchor and find a drill bit that looks about the same size this looks good and you just use that one when in doubt though always use a smaller drill bit that look actually dead on but I'm still going to use a small one because we want the wall anchor to be we want the wall anchor to be really tight in there. You don't want it too loose. So the drill bit I'm using is a 1564. Okay. Get my drill ready. Okay. And now what you're going to do is just drill anywhere inside of those ovals. Alright, so that's done. Let's test this wall anchor. Let's get all this out of the way. I use bare paint for everything, and I have to say, I love bare paint. A lot of people don't like it um, because it dries too fast. Yep, that was perfect. Now, sometimes you can't get it all the way in. So, what you want to use is a hammer. And I always use the butt of a hammer. And let me go get it. Alright, so I got a little baby hammer here. And the reason I get a baby one uh, is so I don't damage the wall anchors. Now, let me zoom back in. Now you could hammer it in, be very light. And that worked perfectly. So well, we'll probably hammer it in. And of course, a bigger hammer would have got that job done a lot faster but I don't want to damage the wall anchors like I said so now um, we'll take our Phillips screwdriver and we're going 
going to screw our bracket in. Like so. So that bracket is up. I'm going to go ahead and screw it in real quick. All right, so we're almost done screwing it in, but I wanted to show you guys um, how this bracket is made and how uh, it gives you room for error. Now, if you guys go back and notice, you'll see that my wall anchors, they weren't perfectly in alignment, but that doesn't matter because look at this. So you can go up and down and you can move it a little bit from left and right. So I can get the perfect uh, alignment here. So I'm going to go ahead and line that up perfectly really quick and I'll be right back. All right, now that I've aligned my um, bracket up, it's time to go ahead and mount the tower ring. So what we're going to do is uh, unscrew uh, this screw here for the mount so that none of the screw is showing here. Be careful not to scratch up the tower ring. I don't know what finish you guys got, but I got the brushed stainless, so. All right, and now that that's on there, I'm gonna move this up. Get my flat head and just tighten this down. Or tighten it up, rather. And again, don't over tighten it. Nothing's heavy is going. Nothing heavy is going to go there, and we're all done. 